All right, today we're going to show you another shoot and grinder. This one is uh, an HTG 310, and uh, it's a little newer. Uh, not quite sure of the date, uh, 80s or 90s. Um, it's 220 volts, three phase, and uh, we have a cooling system with it, with the paper band filter. This is all original from the factory, came equipped with that. Have a Morse tape and number five workhead, and you have a Morse tape and number three on the tail stock. You have a variable speed drive, uh, so as you rotate this one, it's running. Uh, you can go slower or faster, approximately from down to nothing up to around 500 RPMs. Uh, over here we have the, the uh, settings for it or the electrical controls. You start the hydraulic, start the grinding wheel. I select here that I want to control everything with this main handle here. So this has three positions. Right now it's off. First position, your head start stocks to rotate. You'd want to put a driver on this if you're going to grind between centers. Uh, this is live and dead also. There's a way to engage and disengage the center or to, uh, the spindle and to, or to lock the spindle in place. There's a, there's a locking pin in the back. See it in the photos. Um, the second position will bring the wheel slide forward. Now this wheel slide has a, a little T-handle wrench back here. And I can move this wheel slide relatively easy in and out because we cleaned everything up. So you can make a course adjustment. You can even buy an accessory that you have a little, a little handle there, but this doesn't have that. Um, so that's very convenient. You can move that back and forth. Down here are your controls. Again, this is your main control thing here. And when you go all the way to the far right, it's going to start doing whatever it's going to do, which is feeding. Each time it reverses, it feeds here. The amount that it feeds there, you adjust down here. The more you turn this one way or the other, the more this little indicator will uh, stick out or go or retreat. Uh, that's how that works. Above it, I can select like I have right now that it feeds on both sides. You can make it only feed on this side or only on that side if you want, depending on where you set that. Over here, gives it a little bit of a dwell, a tarry time. People use that if they want to stay a little longer on one side. As you open that up a little bit, you start to get a little bit of a dwell. It's very sensitive. Okay. Below it, we saw this is the this is the table speed. And then when we don't want to use the table, whoop, if you want to. As I send the wheel back, you notice that the, the, the feed hand wheel also went back. So if I don't use the table, then I have a plunge feed. And as I open up these, this has also a coarse feed and a fine feed. So I have one feed going here, a little fast, but just, just for the video. And then it's going to stop because there's a dial here that you loosen the set screw and you can, you can move the little mark closer or you know, to and from zero to open up your fine feed, which is another feed. So you can come down to zero real nice and slow. Over here is a dead pin. You want that to be in. And after a certain amount of time, it goes back all by itself. The wheel goes back, that shuts off, and the hand wheel retracts. The amount you just ground off, plus a safety. Down here on the side is a fine adjustment knob, very fine increment on there. If your part's too big, you make a little adjustment. If it's too small, you make a little adjustment. Up here is the potentiometer that tells you how long that stays once you get to zero. Once everything is all set up and you know everything is right, they actually have a push button that you could use 
to start the whole cycle like that. This here is for uh, adjusting the table, the taper. It doesn't have little clamp down things like most machines. It has eccentric, eccentric uh, little pins in here. So you put your Allen wrench in there and you just loosen that a little bit. It's just the cam and you're gonna loosen a T-nut. And that's how that slides in and out. It's nice and clean and stays clean. Um, I don't know what else to show you. That's pretty much it. That's the shooting. This is a great machine. Made in Switzerland. We have it here in New Jersey. Thank you very much.